besides being considered the best soccer player in the world. The Argentine Lionel Messi and the Brazilian Neymar Jr. are two tycoons who know well how to invest and multiply their enormous fortunes. But have you ever stopped to wonder which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video, you will watch a fierce battle between Lionel Messi versus Neymar Jr. So now, let's go to the fight! Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But you have to do that in less than 5 seconds, you got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag about subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Round 1 Most Expensive Mansion When it comes to investing in a nice place to live, both soccer stars don't seem to like to skimp. But which one of them has the most expensive mansion? Starting with Neymar Jr., he owns a very famous mansion located in the Porto Bello condominium in Mangaratiba, Rio de Janeiro. The contemporary style house is over 17,000 square feet and has several luxuries, such as a floating staircase connecting the levels and artwork on the walls. The living room is perfect for casual gatherings, while the formal dining area has a huge table and the kitchen has stainless steel appliances. The house also has a home theater, a game room, and plenty of rooms to lounge in. In the case of the master suite, there are large glass windows, an automated TV that descends from the ceiling, and also a lovely terrace with lawn, as well as a luxurious bathroom and a very spacious closet. Going to the outside, the mansion is situated on a plot of almost three acres and has some very interesting spaces, such as a synthetic tennis court, private deck, swimming pool with an 82-foot lane, a gym equipped with high-quality equipment, spa integrated with nature, gourmet space with barbecue, wine cellar with capacity for more than 3,000 bottles, jacuzzi integrated with sauna, a helipad to arrive in style, among many other amenities that only a millionaire mansion can offer. Besides all this, the place can offer a lot of comfort and fun for Neymar to enjoy with his friends, which everyone knows that the player is passionate about. And according to the real estate agency Home Pro, the property was purchased by the player after watching the video of the house that was posted on YouTube, and he paid $8.5 million for the place. Lionel Messi, when he was playing for Barcelona, lived in a house close to where he worked. The player's property was located in a luxury condominium in Casteldefels, a town that is only 12 miles away from Barcelona. The residence that the Argentinian lives in with his family has an imposing white facade and is surrounded by a very green lawn. And because the mansion is located on top of the hills, it has a beautiful view of the city, while at the same time offering plenty of privacy for him to live in peace. On social networks, Messi has already shared with his followers some of his intimacy inside the property, especially the cute moments he enjoys with his children. The interior of the property seems to be very comfortable and cozy, perfect for him to rest after an intense training routine. The outside area has a lot of space and a soccer field, where he even posted on Instagram the first steps of his youngest. No doubt Lionel Messi's mansion can meet all his needs, being an excellent refuge for him and his family. And a curious thing is that it is speculated in the press that Messi even bought the house from his neighbors because they were too noisy, something super normal for a man as rich as him, isn't it? And although the exact price of the player's property is not known, to get an idea, there are properties in the same area that cost up to 10 million euros. And for owning a more expensive mansion, Lionel Messi wins this round. Score one for him. Round two. Cars. Both soccer players seem to be passionate about cars, but which one of them has the most expensive and luxurious car collection? Neymar, for example, has been seen with several cars, such as E. Wave X $25,000, Volkswagen Touareg $50,000, Audi Q5 $55,000, Range Rover Sport $83,000, Audi RS7 Sportback $120,000, Audi R8 Spider $150,000, Porsche Panamera Turbo $170,000. Ferrari 458 Spider $260,000 Ferrari GTC 4 Lusso for $300,000 
and some sources speculate that Neymar owns a Maserati MC11, a super sports car that accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.8 seconds and costs around $1.5 million. Meanwhile, Lionel Messi has also been seen in several cars, such as Toyota Prius for $25,000, Mini Cooper $30,000, Audi Q7 $60,000, Mercedes-Benz GLE for $70,000, Audi A7 $75,000, Range Rover Sport $80,000, Toyota Land Cruiser $85,000, Cadillac Escalade $95,000, Range Rover Vogue for $100,000, Audi RS6 for $120,000, Porsche Panamera $140,000, and even a Maserati Gran Turismo, a legendary sports car made for those who like speed. And to own this machine, you may have to fork out around $200,000. And several sources speculate that he owns a Pagani Zonda, a sports car equipped with a powerful engine that can accelerate from 0 to 100 in an impressive 2.8 seconds and can reach a top speed of 217 miles per hour. And if he really has this sports car in his garage, he had to fork out around $2 million. And because there is no certainty about the player's most luxurious vehicles, we will consider this round a draw. Point for both. Round 3. Aircraft. To get around the world, both players have private aircraft at their disposal at all times. But which one of them has the most expensive and luxurious means of transport? Lionel Messi, for example, owns a Gulfstream G550, one of the safest and best-performing private jets in the world, capable of reaching speeds close to the speed of sound. Not to mention its intercontinental range, which allows it to travel great distances without the need to stop for fuel. The interior of the jet is very comfortable and luxurious and can hold up to 19 passengers depending on the configuration adopted. And to get an idea of the price of this aircraft, some sources estimate that the player's aircraft is valued at around 12 million pounds. Neymar Jr., in turn, has owned several aircraft. Starting with the cheapest, the player has owned a helicopter model EC-130, a means of transport valued at around $1.7 million. Going even higher, he has owned a Phenom 100 jet, a small business jet manufactured by Brazilian manufacturer Embraer. The aircraft can carry up to five passengers, offering plenty of comforts. And it is no wonder that to acquire this jet, it may be necessary to disburse around $3 million. In 2019, Niemer decided to buy an even more expensive helicopter, an H-145 model. This is an aircraft that can carry up to 10 passengers, and Niemer made sure to customize its interior by placing seats with the symbol of Batman, the star's favorite superhero. And to get an idea of the price, a new helicopter of this model can cost almost $10 million. But without a doubt, Niemer's most expensive aircraft is his Cessna Citation 680, an American mid-size business jet with a flying range of more than 3,200 miles. The interior of the player's plane is very spacious and refined, being able to accommodate up to 12 people, offering a lot of comfort for all passengers. And although it is not known how much the player paid for the jet, it is known that a new aircraft of this model costs around $18 million. And because Neymar owned a more expensive aircraft, he wins this round. Score one for him. Round four. Excessive luxuries. Everyone knows that both players have more than enough money to buy almost anything they want. But which of the two celebrities has the most extravagant expenses? To dress well, for example, Messi likes to wear expensive watches, such as $24,000 Rolex Oyster Perpetual, $32,000 Rolex Yachtmaster, $35,000 Rolex Daytona, $75,000 Audemars Pichuet Jumbo Extra, $95,000 Rolex Submariner, $125,000 Audemars Pichuet Royal O Chronograph, $142,000 Jacob & Co Epic SF24, $190,000 Jacob & Co Epic X, and even a $275,000 Patek Philippe Nautilus in rose gold. When it is time to enjoy life with his beautiful family and sometimes with his friend Luis Suarez, the player has been seen several times aboard beautiful yachts. 
One example is the yacht known as Inspiration, a Benetti fast model vessel that is four stories high and about 125 feet long, all of this combined with modern and sophisticated architecture. The interior is very elegant and comfortable, with five cabins that can accommodate up to 10 passengers, offering a great experience for all aboard. For when crew members want to relax and enjoy the sea breeze, there are several open-air lounges equipped with modern and ergonomic sofas. The yacht also has a swimming pool at the front and even a jacuzzi on the top floor. No doubt this vessel is capable of meeting the player's needs, and it is no wonder that its price is estimated at around $20 million. Likely that Messi would rather rent yachts than buy them, and could pay around $200,000 to enjoy this luxury for a week. Neymar, on the other hand, is not far behind and has also been seen with several expensive watches, such as $18,000 Rolex Submariner Bluesy, $22,000 Rolex GMT Master II Batman, $42,000 Rolex Daytona in 18K Eve Rose, $43,000 Rolex Daytona John Mayer Dial, $50,000 Rolex Datejust Zebra, $60,000 Rolex Daytona with a black dial, $105,000 Rolex Day Date Rainbow, $185,000 Rolex GMT Master II in rose gold, $300,000 Rolex Daytona Eye of the Tiger, and even a $960,000 Richard Mill Michelle Yeo. In his free time, Neymar likes to enjoy life on the high seas, having been spotted several times partying aboard yachts. And it is no coincidence that he has decided to buy his own boat, an Azimut 78, manufactured by the renowned Italian boat brand Azimut Yachts. The yacht is three stories high and 78 feet long, with enough space to accommodate his closest guests. And when you want to spend a few days on board, there are four suites that offer a lot of comforts. And there is no doubt that to enjoy all this luxury, it is necessary to spend a lot of money. To get an idea of the price, it is estimated that this model yacht costs around $3 million. And because Neymar has been seen with more expensive watches and has his own yacht, he wins this round. Score one for him. Round five. Luxury apartments. Both soccer stars seem to be quite fond of investing in vertical properties, but which of the two will own the most luxurious apartments? Neymar Jr., for example, owns several apartments in Brazil. One of them is in Itapema, in the Villa dos Corais building, a luxury building that has a prime location facing the beach, with a beautiful view of the sea at your disposal. According to some sources, the apartments in this building are about 4,700 square feet. And to purchase a unit, Neymar needed to fork out around $1 million at the time. In the same area, the player also purchased another apartment in recent years, this time in the Vitor Hugo residence condominium, which is just steps away from the sea. The condo offers some amenities to residents, and according to sources, Neymar owns two units in that building, each with 4,700 square feet of space and lovely ocean views. According to media reports, the properties cost the player approximately $1.2 million. But Neymar's most sophisticated apartment in Santa Catarina is undoubtedly his four-story penthouse at the Yacht House Residence Club in Balneario Camboriú. With 81 floors and over 918 feet high, the complex is composed of two identical towers and was built with a lot of planning, sophistication, and class. This undertaking is so grandiose that the construction is considered the largest Brazilian residential building and the tallest building in all of Latin America. And, of course, the apartments in this building are up to their magnificence. All units have a panoramic view, which is the property's great differential. And when you want to have fun, you don't even have to leave the building, since it has a huge, luxurious leisure area of more than 107,000 square feet. To get a property in this elegant building, Neymar had to invest a real fortune. According to some sources, the player bought two apartments in this development, the first is a unit for his father for $3 million and the second is his apartment, which cost around $6 million. Lionel Messi, on the other hand, because he is passionate about cars and also likes to enjoy the beach with his family, he decided to unite these two passions and buy a property in the Porsche Design Tower, a building made for car lovers. It is an imposing 60-story building that has a spectacular view of the sea and has as its biggest differential the incredible elevator exclusively for cars, something very exotic and hard to find even in the most sophisticated and modern buildings in the world. 
and it is no wonder that this stunning condominium has been considered one of the favorite places for multi-millionaires and one of the most luxurious on the planet. The player's duplex property has approximately 3,200 square feet and is built with top-of-the-line finishes, such as the floor which is all covered with beautiful white marble. The architecture of the apartment is composed of a light color palette, which brings a sense of sophistication to the environment. The apartment has very spacious and integrated rooms, with the kitchen facing the living room. It is made to offer more socialization to the residents, and it is no wonder that it is divided into only two huge bedrooms and five luxurious bathrooms. Another eye-catching feature is the large floor-to-ceiling windows, which not only provide excellent natural lighting but also spectacular views of the beach. The residents of this building can also enjoy a beautiful leisure area equipped with everything imaginable but pay a hefty price for this, something around $5,000 just for the condominium. And to live in Porsche Design Tower, one can imagine that it is necessary to invest a good amount of money. According to some sources, Lionel Messi needed to invest around $5 million in this beautiful apartment. Messi likes to own real estate on the coast so much that two and a half years after he bought his apartment in the Porsche Design Tower, he decided to buy another property on the beaches of the state of Florida, a region that he seems to have liked very much. This time he bought the entire ninth floor of the Regalia Condominium, a luxury building on the island of Sunny Isles Beach. This apartment is very similar to his other apartment, with its decoration and light tones, and with large floor-to-ceiling windows that offer a great entrance of natural light and a spectacular view. And since the Argentinian has purchased the entire floor of the building, he has the luxury of being able to enjoy an incredible panoramic view, something that tycoons like and value a lot. The huge apartment has a total of about 5,500 square feet, plus a spacious balcony of another 2,000 square feet, making a total of more than 7,500 square feet at his disposal. The residence is divided into five luxurious bedrooms and five modern bathrooms that provide the experience of bathing while admiring an incredible landscape. And if he is a foodie, he can enjoy a beautiful state-of-the-art kitchen, as well as a refrigerated wine cellar for over 1,000 bottles. Lionel Messi's property is definitely made for those who are passionate about beautiful views since there is a huge window in every corner, not to mention the gigantic balcony that surrounds the entire property. And because this apartment has twice as much space as the other one, it cost the player even more money. According to some sources, Lionel Messi had to invest 7.3 million euros in the apartment. And because Lionel Messi owns more expensive apartments, he wins this round. Score one for him. Round 6 Sources of Income Besides making a lot of money as soccer players, both tycoons have many sources of income. But which one of them has the most profitable businesses? Neymar Jr., for example, is a celebrity known all over the world. On social networks, for example, he is the third most followed soccer player in the world. On Instagram alone, he has more than 200 million followers, a number so high that makes him the most famous person in Brazil. And of course, because he is so famous, can able to earn a lot of money by associating with and promoting several companies. Among the brands for which the Brazilian soccer star has advertised are Red Bull, Gillette, McDonald's, Nike, Guarana Antarctica, Oreo, Clear Men, MasterCard, Diesel, Beats, Panasonic, and many others. But without a doubt, his main sponsor is the sporting goods company Puma, where he has the largest individual sports sponsorship contract in history, an amount that is around $25 million per year. Messi, on the other hand, is an entrepreneur who invests in many sectors. One of his favorites is the tourist business, as he owns MIM Hotels, a chain of luxury hotels with four units spread around the world. The unit on the island of Mallorca in Spain, for example, has a robust infrastructure, facing the exquisite beaches of the city. Those who prefer to enjoy the snow can stay at the Baquera headquarters, a comfortable and cozy and capable of offering unique experiences. But the most luxurious is the unit in Ibiza, where daily rates can reach more than $1,000 for a single day. And Messi also has investments in other sectors, such as Bella Vista del Jardin del Norte, a restaurant in Barcelona that he has invested an estimated 2.5 million euros. Already in the fashion sector, he founded 2019 The Messi Store, an online clothing store inspired by the player's style. 
The venture was founded with the support of Ginny Hilfiger, the sister of fashion mogul Tommy Hilfiger. And it seems that this new venture has been quite successful, as the brand's Instagram alone has over 2 million followers. One of the biggest sources of income for the player comes from advertising because he is one of the most famous celebrities in the world. Only on his Instagram, for example, he has more than 400 million followers, which makes him the second most followed profile on this social network. And it is clear that all this exposure ends up attracting the interest of several companies, which are willing to invest a real fortune to link their brand to the player's image. Among the companies that have already invested in Messi are for example, Lay's, Hawkers, Pepsi, Gatorade, Mastercard, Audemars Pichuet, among many others. His biggest and main sponsor is Adidas, a sporting goods company with whom Messi has a lifetime contract, which earns him about $25 million a year. And because he is more famous and stands out more in business, Lionel Messi wins this round. Score one for him. Round seven. Net worth. Being considered two of the best soccer players in the world, there's no doubt that they have made a lot of money in their careers. But which of them has amassed the biggest fortune? Neymar Jr., for example, had to work hard to reach the high financial level he has today. When he was playing in the youth categories at Santos, for example, he earned about $2,000 per month, a figure that has grown a lot, reaching almost $4 million per season. At Barcelona, Neymar's salary grew exponentially, reaching an average of $15 million per year just in base salary, not counting bonuses and sponsorships. But it was at Paris Saint-Germain that the Brazilian star reached the peak of his financial life, receiving about $53 million in salary alone. Adding this huge salary to his advertising earnings, the athlete's income gets even bigger. And it's no wonder that in 2020 Forbes estimated that Neymar earned about $96 million for the year, ranking him among the highest paid athletes in the world. And although nobody knows exactly how much his fortune is, some sources estimate that Neymar Jr. has already accumulated a net worth of approximately $200 million. Lionel Messi, on the other hand, despite having several sources of income, his main one comes from his huge salary as a player. To get an idea of values, some sources estimate that playing for PSG, Lionel Messi receives a fixed salary of $45 million, but with some performance bonuses, this figure can reach $75 million. And it is no wonder that according to Forbes magazine, the Argentine was considered in 2022 the highest paid athlete in the world, earning about $130 million. Adding up all the money Messi has earned during his career, it is estimated that the amount has already exceeded the $1 billion mark, but due to high taxes, some sources estimate that the player must have a net worth of approximately $600 million. And because Messi has a fortune three times as large, he easily wins this round. Point to him. At the end of this fight, we have three points for Neymar Jr. against five points for Lionel Messi, and he is the winner of this battle. But if you believe that there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, right here below your best justification. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.